Hello guys, welcome back to the bench and today we're going to be testing Otacan. Uh, I looked it up and that's how you pronounce it. I think they separated it so you pronounce it the proper way but K-A-N. Uh, I'll put a C there and it's can but I did look it up and it's Otacan. And um, they're lacquer paints and um, they come in a beautiful glass jar. I give them credit for that. I do like the jar. It's 35 uh, milliliters. And um, I tried to get a little bit of everything. Um, this is their opaques. This is their clears, candy clears. This is a pearl essence. You can see the blue there. And these are their metal colors. Uh, here's a chrome. So let's go over what I have. I don't have the whole lineup. And um, there's too many, <laughs> really. And uh, they're, they're on the expensive side. They're uh, 10, 12 bucks for some. It, it, uh, some of these are lower price, some of the opaques, but um, they're on the higher end of, of pricing if you're about to go and get all of them. Anyway, this is fresh red, yellow green, turquoise, I don't know their system, OB, I'm guessing opaque, and C for clear, I, I don't know, I, I haven't figured out their numbering system yet. Sky blue. Try to get the lighting right over this so you guys can see them good here. Ultra Marine. Purple Red. Pretty much purple. Okra. I thought that was a unique color, so I grabbed it. Yellow Okra. That's more of a nice yellow. Let's see. This is uh, Character Yellow. Oh, yeah, it's a little off. Not as bright as the uh, 109 from Mr. Color. All right, uh, this is their clears. Now, their clears are listed as satin candy clear. So I imagine there's no shine to it. That's my guess. But here is red. I can't really show you these under the bottom. You can't really see. Uh, blue. Nickel. I thought that was unique. It's probably their smoke black. Fire orange. Sky blue. Light blue. The T, maybe? Transparent? Satin? Maybe? They highlight the T, and they highlight the O, so I'm guessing there. Uh, midnight Blue. Deep Red. Midnight Blue. Is that a Lou Graham song? Lou Graham from Farina? Yeah, I think it is. Midnight Blue. I looked that up now. Uh, deep Green. Deep Yellow. Orange. Back over here. Here we go. This is their pearls. Pearl. So I guess the P. And the T is transparent. O for opaque. I guess that's what we're looking at. I just didn't know what the other numbers were. Anyway, um, I got a couple of these. These were on the... These were, I think these are on the more expensive side. That's why I only grabbed two of them. Um, this is pearl blue. And this is pearl magenta. You can see it there. These are the ones like uh, the Mr. Color ones. They look all the same in the jar, but when you spray them over black, the color comes out. And for their metal lineup, we have Super Chrome, MS01. I'm guessing metal colors, the M. Uh, Star Silver. See it? There it is. Is that a Gaia? Is that a Gaia color? Um, titanium. Oops, there we go. Uh, dark Iron. Nice. Uh, Gunmetal. Now they all look this. They all look the same here, <laughs> underneath. But uh, early testing, I, I ran them through the few airbrushes to see how I'm going to do this test. And they, once you stir them up, which is why this is here. Once you stir them up, you get uh, they come out darker and they, they don't look like that on the bottom. I guess that's just the pigment settling. Um, these are airbrush only, but we are. I'm going to do a brush test now on camera, and uh, we'll do that now. I'll brush red. I'll brush this red now. Um, the opaques come open jar like that, All right? The clears, same thing. Open jar. However, the metal ones have a, have an extra cap. Yeah. So you got to take that cap off too. I think it's like the Gaia ones, and you gotta make sure you put the cap back on. As I found out, they leak. Um, without that. Now, uh, I found putting in a, a shaker ball helped 
quite a bit on some of these. Uh, not the clairs, they don't need any, but the pearl had a little bit of trouble with and one or two of these. So uh, if you can't get the, these uh, hematite beads, I got these at a, ho a Hobby Lobby. They come in a necklace form, you just cut it. These are completely rust proof. And um, they're great. And, they have, and they, what is it, what's cool too is they come in an odd shape, which helps agitate the paint. If you can't get them, these stainless steel balls have worked really well for me. It's a package of 100 for under uh, 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link to this. If I can find these hematite beads on Amazon, I'll put the link below too. But uh, it comes in handy. Just drop one in. Cap it tight. And we'll use uh, my 4E shaker. Put it on good, and you can hear the bead there shaking around. It shakes up pretty quick. Some gave me trouble, but that should be it. Now, let's see if you can see the bubbles. You can see the paint in the bottom, like it's shaking. I don't know if I can get the light on it so you guys can see it. There it is. See it? See the bubbles? So. When you see that, that's all of the paint that has settled on the bottom. Let me put this light back up. It's uh, back into the paint. All the pigments are ready to go. So I'm going to brush a plastic spoon here. I know they're not meant for brushing, but I'm going to show you guys if it can be brushed. If it's too thin or not. This is my uh, Model Master. Uh, 3 8 It's a big brush, so let's go right in. Now you can see already it's going into the brush so it's not really oh wow all right it loaded up the brush oh you know what it's going on good but it's it's really thin i, I imagine it's going to run you know what it went on pretty good i mean it's going to probably dry differently we'll have to see i'm going to put it aside here now and uh we'll see how it dries Went on pretty good though. All right, let me pause this camera, let it dry for about 20 minutes. We'll come back. Oh, there it is off camera, and we'll see how it looks. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes, about 25 minutes. Um, don't forget the old trick. I usually show this every so often. Uh, take your brushes when you put it in the. This is lacquer thinner. When you put it in thinner, uh, put it on a clothespin. Don't let it sit in the bottom of the jar. A lot of times I put them in and I'm forgetting. I'll go on to other stuff. You end up with this bent. You know, your, your, your brush ends up bent like that because it's sitting on the bottom with pressure on it. What you want to do is put it in the lacquer thinner. Get a shot glass like this. And then uh, put your clothespin. Keeps it hanging up. It keeps the, the bristles perfectly straight. Cleans it out because it just pulls away the paint. I'll, I'll uh, wipe these off at the end of my session. Uh, a little tip there, but let me get this out of the way. One second, guys. All right, let that dry. Now, here's uh, here's what we got. Can you see it? It looks really even to you guys, but it's a little splotchy, and it came out dull. I thought this was supposed to be a shiny red, but when I brushed it, it, it just came out flat. However, it is pretty good. I didn't think it would brush this nice, and uh, one more coat, and it would be perfect. I just wanted to show you guys one quick coat. Uh, it is kind of thin. I, you really can't see it. Damn, I wish you could see it. You get the light on it closer. Maybe you can see it there. It's kind of thin. You could kind of see the spoon through it. But overall, though, not bad. Particularly if you're going to paint on a smaller piece. Maybe you'll get some decent results. It's not meant to be brushed. It's just too thin. But I think two coats and you're onto something. That said, it didn't come out shiny. But it could be the spoon. These spoons have been giving me trouble lately. But anyway, that's it brushed. I know the clears won't brush on, and the metals have to be airbrushed, um, for sure. But uh, the opaques looks like looks like it'll work. All right, um, here we go. Now, believe it or not, it's going to go through a 0.5 millimeter needle. It says it right here on the pack. And um, I had try oh, actually it says it on the website, I believe. Oh no, it says it right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna zoom in for this. See it. Shake well using a well ventilated area. All right, let me get the light right on this. See it? Apply two, one to two coats at 18 psi until desired saturation. All right, our paint is pre thinned for 
five millimeter airbrushes for point three additional thinning to improve consistency will be needed so you got to thin it all colors can be mixed with other colors in the lineup yeah so believe it or not it's thin and when I tested it quick I tested it through one of my uh, I don't know if I did the harder and Steinbeck it, it didn't airbrush great I wasn't crazy about it and then I said let me look into this a little further should I thin it and come to find out it says 0.5 so when I switch to my uh, I switched to the Badger this is one of my 0.5s I don't have many 0.5s but this is one of them um, the other badges are 0.7 I think and um, it, it sprayed good really good so um, 0.5 it is guys if you got anything small you're gonna have to thin it a little bit uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll use the Iwata maybe let me reach for it I use the Iwata this is a 0.35 what we'll do with this is we'll thin some and throw it through this and see how that sprays too all right we're just gonna spray I'm not gonna spray all of them on camera uh, I don't have every color you know if, I, if it was a short set I would have did all of them on camera but eh, I will show them all though I'll show every one that I have here on camera but for uh, time constraints we'll see how the opaques perform we'll do some clears and we'll do the metals uh, on camera to see how they perform we'll do one of these pearls on camera so we'll do a, at least one of each on camera and we'll see how they go we'll spray it over all different surfaces and get the results and see how these paints actually are I got some gumpla pieces I got some spoons sprayed I got a bunch of plastic strips a bunch of things so uh, we'll pick a color you know what we'll do the red how about that that's for the opaque we'll do the red for sure because I brushed it I want to see um, I want to see what that looks like I sprayed all of these by the way so uh, you will see all the colors but uh, they're all gonna perform I'm guessing the same as far as the opaques go as far as you know each brand but we'll put them over different surfaces and that's where uh, that's where the differences are gonna come in anyway let's head over to the booth we're gonna start with this and um, We'll do the Oticon 08 fresh red to start with into this here airbrush. Um, I might pick another one. We're going to thin it and we'll try it into the other airbrush in case you guys don't have a 0.5. But I'll go, let's go ahead and start with this red. Let's head over to the booth and check these paints out. All right, guys, here we are. We're going to put it straight in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it straight in on camera. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go just showing you I'm putting it straight in or straight from the microphone here straight right in make sure you wipe always wipe your caps makes for a better seal and that's it all right good flow I got it set for exactly 18 psi uh, let's go ahead start with a spoon I got some brand new spoons here from my local deli the Athenian Greek deli about a mile from my house been going there for 25 years shout out to Tony the owner and Amanda and Mario the two workers there that have been there for years they're very good people and uh, I want to thank them for the spoons as I asked if I could try one it seemed to have worked and they gave me a bunch more more to come uh, let's go ahead and try it we're going to blow this off and let's go straight in. Now being a lacquer, I guess we can just go right in. There we go. Now, um, I didn't get these results when I did it through the smaller needle, you know, not thin. So, uh, it's a big difference here. Let's put this aside. Let's try it on a Gumpla piece. This is a nice shield here from entry, the entry level, entry grade. My stick here is uh, a little too long. It doesn't fit in the booth. We need a bigger booth, guys, a bigger booth. We're not going for any trophies here. We just want to see how it performs. It looks like it covers really nice and even. So I'll let that dry. That came out pretty nice. All right. This is Tamiya Primer. Let's see how it comes out on Tamiya Primer. really 
nice. Wow, looks good. So far, so good. Um, let's see how it covers up black. Hold on. This is Mr. Surfacer in the spray can, black. covered not bad all right um, I'm gonna try something here hold on one second guys I'm gonna reach for another spoon all right guys what I was reaching for was Vallejo 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 flat dark um, flat black spray this is their primer and I want to see uh, if it's affected at all over an acrylic primer let's see seems to be pretty good I mean we'll know when it dries if it pulls it up but probably not that spoon's been drying for a week so that, that is a really you know hardened primer so I guess the styno res and all those would be fine looks good came out nice and even all right guys let me clean this out and get another color all right guys on camera I'm gonna show you we're gonna do another color in opaque even though I sprayed them all I'm gonna show you uh, we're gonna use the uh, Iwata Eclipse this is a 0.35 uh, milli, millimeter needle, so um, they want you to thin it, and it does, it is true. You gotta thin it a little bit. So we're gonna take a few drops. We're gonna put the drops in first. I'm not getting too scientific. All right. Here, covering the bottom there. Now you can thin the hell out of uh, lacquers, so I mean it's not a big worry. So let's go and we'll use the same eyedropper. Let me put that over here in my cleaning pot. All right, here we go. Now I'll put the thinner in first. That always helps. Sorry if I'm off mic. That always helps with uh, mixing it in the cup. So what we do is we're going to cover the end. No point on the uh, Iwata sticks out, which is great. So you just put your thumb here. I'm going to blast it and pull back and bubble it up. See it? Bubbling up. Finger over it. And there it is. We're just mixing it up. And that's it. We should be good to go. Now, it'll spray out perfectly fine it, it was, I noticed it when I started spraying it, it was coming out chunky and uh, I thought it was my uh, airbrush or something was wrong I took it apart it was clean then I researched the paint and I found out they recommend thinning it now I personally would uh, lower the air pressure with the paint being this thin but That's just me, you know. It's just purple red, so it's not really a dark purple at all. Let me, uh, let's test it over a piece with primer. Hold on one second. This is the Tamiya gray primer. Probably helps being on a primer when it's this much thinner. This stuff's pretty thin to start with, you know. This wasn't one of my favorites in the lineup because I, I thought it didn't come out as consistent as the, uh, some of the other colors. There you go. I mean, that's how you're going to have to do it if you got a smaller needle. Just a few drops. Even I wouldn't put too much, but still, with lacquers, really forgiven. But uh, that's it. That's how I would thin them out. Let me go back, clean this out, grab the Patriot back to the .5. And move on with the test. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the pearl. 
pearl blue. Straight out of the bottle. Back to the Patriot. 105 uh, with the 0.5 millimeter needle. This has to go over black. We'll do some over white, but uh, it shows its blue color over black. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah. This is just like the uh, Mr. Color Paints. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. There you go. I mean, that is on. <laughs> Look at that. I'll show it better over the bench. Wow, that's awesome. Let me put this aside. All right. Check this out. We're going to go and put it over this plastic plate. I'm trying to get the right side to paint it on. Here we go. Check that out. Wow, this one goes on way better than the opaques. It seems to just spray itself practically. Let's try it over white. Wow, that's impressive. I don't think we're going to see it over the spoon, but let's try it. Yeah, you know what it is? In the reflection, we're going to see a little bit of blue. But it's not going to bring the colors out at all. We'll see if it looks better on the lighting, but yeah, it's tough over that. However, sorry guys, I'm straining. However, let's try it over some colors. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to think of what I want to spray it over. Something weird. Yeah, certain colors don't bring out the blue in it. I'm trying to get the blue to come out. Let's try it over uh, this dark blue here. Spray it off first. And it came out like a brighter version of what we've seen already. Wow, not bad. Oh, I got an idea, guys. Hold on one second. I found this Gumpla piece. It's uh, I sprayed it black for something. It uh, looks like it's from Gundam Wing. Let's see what we got. We're really getting close and heavy to get that shine. Yeah, there it is. And you got to go slower, too. Check that out. Oh yeah, this is the <laughs> this is one of the shining moments of the lineup. This is great. All right, guys, let me clean this out and we'll move on to the metal colors. All right, guys. Next up is the chrome. Now uh, the chrome does not mention the uh, needle size on the back like the other ones do. So I went back because it's chrome, which is really thin. I went back and uh, got the Iwata for this test. Now we're going to put this on a uh, real light. I'll try one of my gloss black spoons here. Let me blow it off. Make sure there's no dust on it. All right, here we go. Let's go on real light. All right here, dry it off. Oh yeah, see that guys? It, it acts like the, uh, um, the all clad. It looks like it's going on not great and then uh, it ends up, that dust, I guess you would call it, ends up air drying off. It's not quite chrome yet though, so we're going to go on a little more. Alright, now we're getting there. Look at that. Um, I don't know if I want to keep going. Let's leave that like that. Let's try another black spoon. This is gloss black uh, Tamiya paint. It's been on there, it's been drying for weeks, so this is pretty hardened, I'm guessing. I think 
with this, we'll do the same thing, but we're going to go a little heavier. So you get that foggy look, and then I'm just air drying it off. And uh, early test, um, as it sat, it got really nice. I mean, look at this one sitting here already, how much nicer it's gotten. So this one has to sit, and then you get the results you're looking for. I'm going to go heavier on this one, just for the hell of it. See what we get here. I may have drying it again. Again, that just flash dries it. It doesn't really get it to that look the other one gets at. It as it sits, it settles and gets that nice look. Let's go ahead and try it over. Uh, you know what? Let's try it over some flat black, just regular black plastic. Nothing special. No shine to it is what I mean. Let's see what this looks like. It's going to dry completely different from this. I know it is. I'm just trying to load this one up. I'm trying to be different from the spoons. I know we're not going to get a chrome look on this because it's dull. Well, let's go ahead and try it over some... Uh, let's try it over this. Let's try it over this silver spoon I have here. Silver plastic. So the thing is, it's tough to see what I'm doing over this. But it does have a different look to it already. Yeah, it looks really cool over that. Look at that. I mean, that's what it looks like originally. I'll show the two spoons on the bench, and there it is now. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's try it over white. A little bit of the effect. It's tough on white. Yeah, doesn't show at all. At all. Wow. All right, we tried. We tried. All right, let me let these dry off. We'll go try one of the other metal colors. All right, guys, next up is dark iron. Get this out of the way. Still in the Iwata. All right, let's go ahead and try it over. Uh, doesn't matter if it's gloss, I don't think, or not. Let's try this black plastic spoon I have here. This is a really dark color, so let's see what we get. Oh, nice color. Hard for you guys to see. I'll show at the bench. It is nice. Let me see if I can... Uh, it a little slower so you guys can see it. I, I loaded that one up quick. Ready? I'm trying to fix the camera angle. Here, two for you guys. Look at that. It's a really nice color. I mean, there's the original. Awesome. Happy with that one, guys. I do like that. Let's try it over a few other things here. Try it over these plastic strips here. to see here while it's still wet but I'll show it on the bench you can see the difference there it's got a real nice subtle iron look to it it's really nice but really good inner frame type color wow let me put that aside all right let's try it over one of these spoons a 
Okay, you guys can see the change now as it goes through. Look at that. I like it. Oh, look at that, guys. Isn't that great? Let's try it over white. Well, I mean, let's try it over... How about this lighter gray uh, Tamiya primer? darker here on the layer. There we go. There it is. That is a terrific color. Absolutely fantastic color. Um, I don't know if it'll go over white, but you know what? Let's try it. Yeah, it covers up white good. I would have thought it would have needed black no matter what. But nah, it looks the same just about. See it? Wow, terrific. Star of the lineup so far is these metal ones. And uh, the pearl colors. Uh, I like them more than the opaques. The opaques, you know, they go on good. But so far, early test show, these are the, these are the winners here. All right, guys, let me clear this out. Let's do some candies. All right, guys, let's move on to some candies. We're going to go with fire orange. And uh, let's go ahead and put it over their chrome, which I sprayed already. Make sure it's free of dust. Back to the Patriot 105. Oh, these covered nice too. That's it over there, chrome. I'm not crazy about it. It looks like a little speckly. I mean, it looks good. I expected it to look like uh, orange chrome. It kind of brings out the metal flake in it, but it's good. It looks good. Let's try it over. Uh, this is the Star Silver. This is their own silver. Let's see what it looks like over this. And I like this a little better. little nicer. You can see what I mean by the, the chrome look of it. Alright, let me put this down. Um, let's try it over this chrome spoon. Chrome plastic spoon. Let me make sure it's clean. You guys can see me in the image there. My blue shirt on. Alright, here we go. Wow, it covers this nice. Wow! Now that's the look I was looking for, but it's gonna go over this chrome-plated plastic. Wow. All right, hold on guys, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna grab a, I got a pearl white spoon here somewhere. Let me check that out. Hold on one second. All right, this is their spoon, this is their chrome over a white spoon. So let's see what we get with this. It covers really fast. Oh, I got a hair in it or something. Damn it. Where the hell did that come from? Eh, still, it doesn't look great. Almost looks like it's just going over white. I was hoping for a better result. Uh, let's try it over something. Let's try it over this. This looks like my uh, Mecha Empire anodized orange. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's a cool look. That is a cool look. Definitely. But they go on nice. I mean, they really stick nice. You know? Well, we'll go over them at the bench. Not bad. Let me clear this out and put another color in. All right, guys. Let's go with some uh, Lou Graham's Midnight Blue. Let's go with a chrome spoon. You see nothing at first, and then when you come in for that, that cone, <laughs> look at that. It really does go on really good. Uh, let's try it over some Spastics Ultimate Mirror Chrome in the spray can. 
And that's right here. Look at that. Let's see if it goes over that. It's acting a little different. Not bad, though. It's not the most even chrome. It's a spray can, after all. However, not bad. Not bad. All right, guys, let me get this out of the way. Let me grab some more spoons. All right, this is one of my lacquers I'm testing for my lineup. It's a, uh, it's a very light, misty green. Let's see what it looks like over that. But once it starts to lay down the color, it, it covers up quick. bad but it is a dark blue so it's going to come out this dark no matter what I'm doing not bad let's try it over something else this is a dark titanium but it's flat so let's see uh, what result this is going to give us stop right there and get some kind of a smoky uh, anodized look see it that's pretty cool. Yeah, a whole different tone this gives. I do like the darkness of it. That is pretty cool. I don't, let's try it over white. I'm curious. trust any of these spoons I've been using lately they've been terrible I even cleaned them in the ultrasonic cleaner with degreaser and I'm still getting rotten results yeah, it doesn't go all white too good at all it needs it needs something to grip onto see it let's try it over gray oh what is that I don't know what that is it's some kind of pearl white let's see does perform good over a paint or some kind of base let's try it over a flat plain old gray primer this ain't gonna work right at all nah that looks like a blue angels not bad though not bad. I'll see if it dries shiny. Now, the problem is, is this is labeled as a satin, and I want to see if it dries in a satin look, you know. Let me get these out of here. We'll do the last color. All right, guys, last color on camera. Nickel. Satin candy color. Get this out of the way. Chrome spoon first. at first oh there it is it's a tint can you see it whoa this is, the, this is my favorite one so far it leveled off really nice look at me in the there you can see me in my glasses right there look at that wow I'm gonna let that sit maybe I could make it even darker let's try it over the uh, the uh, spastics It's just, it's darkening it, you know. The spastic, it was a really, it was beat up. Uh, it looks good, though. It still looks good. Wow, it's awesome. Um, let's try it on this plate. This is star silver. It's up to you guys to see. I left a strip of the silver so you can see the difference. That's awesome. Uh, all right, let's try to wear a few. Let me grab a few spoons here. I'm gonna get some different colors. Maybe we can tint them. All right, guys. Uh, I got some more colors here. I started tinting this one. Look at this. It just adds a, a tint to it. You know what I mean? This green. Let's see what it does. Oh, yeah, that's 
it's a cool color. See what it did to it? So that's pretty cool. I guess you can uh, use it as a tinter. Let's see what this does. so I can get a, a black it right out, you know? Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright guys, let's wrap this up. I'm going to have these dry a bit and then uh, go over the bench and we'll go over all the colors. Alright guys, reveal time. Here we are back at the bench. And um, we'll start with these metal colors first. They're at the bottom. Uh, with super chrome uh, there it is over shiny black this is it over Tamiya spray paint a little duller and this is it over um, what is this over I forgot this is just over I believe just the gray spoon it came out pretty nice see it? it's this silver plastic spoons that I have not bad I mean completely different but definitely a look. This is it over uh, flat black uh, plastic strips I have, but obviously it just comes out like aluminum. That's all you're gonna get. No shine at all. And this is it. I tried it over. Uh, this is a um, a greenish color. This is a color I'm working on for my lineup, and it's a uh, you know it's a misty green color, mint green. See it over that? That's pretty cool. I think that's a cool look. You can really mix it up. But as a straight chrome, it's not bad. It isn't bad. It's not the best. It's not on the green stuff world level. But it still performed good. Let's, uh... I don't know how durable it is. This one's been sitting here a while, eh? Let's try it. Oh boy, here we go, guys. It doesn't scratch when I'm scratching with my fingernail. Oh, no good. Pulled it right off with the tape. See it? Yet, yet it won't scratch with my hand. So I think if you're not going to mask it, there's no problem. It won't even scratch. But with the tape, I took the shine right off it. Oh boy. You know what? Let's try it on uh, some others here. No. Okay. It didn't come off of this. So it needs something to grip to. Whereas this was straight plastic, so I imagine it'll come off of this because it's straight plastic. Yep, right off. So you need a base. You need a gloss paint base. This was gloss Tamiya, and it didn't come off it. So that's, that's the secret. I imagine it won't come off of this either. Nope. So it needs a, it needs a paint to grip to, so to speak. A primer, but in that case it needs to be gloss. So, we revealed something there. It's got to go over a gloss black painted base. All right, star silver. Uh, I do like this. I do like this color. This is over white. That's over gray. No matter what I sprayed it over, I believe this is, is this star silver. I did one over. Uh, where is it? I sprayed. Uh, over black and it, it came out exactly the same there's no difference there's like no difference at all but it is a really really nice uh, silver not the best you know no it comes it has to go on a, a, a primer it does not like straight plastic so that is a secret we learn now doesn't say it here but hey that's why we do these tests they are good looking and if you're not going to mask them, titanium. Now, some of you guys says uh, this looked rough in uh, the still shot I put. It isn't. It's really smooth. It just has that look. But I do like the look of it. No matter what I sprayed it over, though, I got it came out the exact same. So this is very opaque. So no matter what you paint this over, it's going to come out that color. What do we got here? Oh, gunmetal. This is a great color. Again, the same thing. This is a black painted spoon. This is just a black spoon. 
but uh, it comes out the same uh, I sprayed it over a few other test pieces uh, earlier it looks exactly the same but this is a terrific color now you're not going to get the color you got to go by the name not the bottom of the jar because the, the top is dark the bottom is that silvery color but this is what how it came out completely different what's on the end here dark iron another good looking one I, I, this is a great looking color I mean look at it over white that's over black that's over gray the only difference is the gray is a little duller it's not as shiny that's uh, that was me I hit it when I put it away it's not a chip grab this that's over a black painted spoon so see it so the metal colors you know other than the chrome you're gonna get the same across the board because they're very opaque but I do like the, the color of this dark iron this is a color I really do like here it is over the plate now you can really see it on the camera at all it's almost the same color as that I guess but that's probably why you can't see it hey we tried all right, guys, let me clear these out. Let's get the next wave of colors up. It's a rainbow of colors. Here is the red. Opaque red. It covered really nice. I have no complaints about the opaques at all. They went on nice. They dry durable. Test time. Yeah, these are... Uh, this is a whole... It's a whole different thing. That The... the the chromes and the metals, they, they have a different makeup, you know, in their pigments. That's why they're more sensitive. The, these opaques are not going to go anywhere. Um, some of these I did earlier in the week, and I've been scratching them and beating them up, and they're just super durable, like an enamel. So no problem at all. That's it over a straight white spoon. Look at how nice and even. Look at that. That's over black. You can see the difference in shading. Look at that. There's your difference right there. This is over a gray primer. It came out a little duller. And then the front is all shiny. I did it half so you can see it. Real durable. I mean super durable. So that's the red. This is the yellow green. Very nice. I just held it up. Look at that. that bright. It's a little lighter here in person. It looks really dark on camera. This is sky blue very nice and uh, this is over a primer very even it covered the primer really nice the opaques are nice through this are, these are all through the Patriot airbrush the ones I did off camera this is a gumpla piece look how nice and even look at that here's the turquoise 16 look at that beautiful color a little greener in person the camera and these lights seem to change everything that's over white that's over gray and that's over the primer so you're really gonna get the same result but it sticks to straight um, plastic oh it doesn't all right so it doesn't stick to these spoons at all I was just gonna say now this spoon it did so it must have been something on these spoons I think I forgot to wash them but let me show you what I mean it's the spoon, it's not the paint. Watch. See, you're not gonna, it's just not gonna come out because I've been scratching these things all week, checking their durability. This must have been one of the spoons I forgot to wash. That's all it is. You gotta make sure you wash these spoons now. They've been really troublesome. All right, this is Ultramarine, a really good looking blue. This is the Okra. very orange uh, skip a little bit because we've masked the purple purple red really cool looking color that's it look at the difference over a gray that's a gray primer and this is the okra yellow all right that's over white primer and black look at it cover the black kind of pretty good this is the primer in here see it I made it see through so I can see what color primer is underneath it so you flip it and there you go bit of a difference right that's the opaques now let's look at the candies 
All right, guys, I lied. We're going to do the pearls next. Uh, and there's only two of them. Uh, pearl, purple, magenta, I should say. All right, that's over a black uh, Tamiya spray paint. And this is over a black plastic plate. Eww, look at that. How great is that? This was the star. These pearls were the star of the whole lineup to me. I mean, that is awesome. That's out of a .5, man. It looked like I used a spray gun for a car. Yeah, these really, these were shockingly good to me. But the Mr. Color Pearl ones are good, too. The ones that are just like this. All right, here's the Pearl Blue. Over black. This is over the gray, I think, of the silver spoon. Yeah, the silver. All right? And I tried to put it over a color, but no show. The little blue in the reflection, not much. Little blue here. Let's see if I can get it to reflect. I really can't. Shows it slightly blue. It doesn't work well over white at all. And uh, this is over that black uh, Gumpla piece that was sprayed with a gloss black paint. Look at that. So to me, these were the star of the show. They just covered so well. This one, I went half so you really can see it, whereas this one, I did the whole plate. Look at that. These are the star of the show. I would buy, I would buy this lineup right off the bat. I would buy all the pearls right off the bat before anything else. All right. Now let's get the candies. All right, guys, with the candies, here we are. All right, here is red. I sprayed it over white plastic to see what I would get. It looks like the other red. So that didn't give me anything special, but here it is over chrome, and here it is over uh, the gray plastic. Now, this is what I thought I was getting, a satin finish. It says satin candy, but I'm not getting it too often. Uh, only certain paints, which were dull, gave me the satin look, but it seems to be on par for the course, right? When you spray it over a matte color. But this is what I thought I was going to get. It's, it's not quite as shiny, though. I could say that. But... Uh, I was hoping for that anodized look. You know what I mean? That dull metal look. But that's the red. This is the blue. Here, let's show you. I chromed this piece. I sprayed it. Look at that. Now, that's that's the look I thought all of them were going to come out. So, this is kind of dull looking. Like a semi-gloss satin is what it says. That's what I thought they all would look like. They're kind of close, but this is the look. But the blue did come out dull this is over the gray spoon right this is over i think white oh, this is chrome it's my chrome spoon and this is uh chrome plated that's it i went really light on this these chrome plates because i was trying to get it to get that satin look and it didn't do it until i went over straight plastic which doesn't have that shiny base you're no longer getting that candy look you know not bad this is the look that's a this is a chrome plated piece like this might have been all clad I think so that's the winner straight over gray plastic all right sky blue didn't work no matter what I did off camera this is what I got it's barely tinted it seemed to have run to the edge so I sprayed it over clear so I can kind of see what I was getting and it wasn't gripping at all um, I don't know if it's a bad jar of paint I mean I mix it up and you can see it right there so it's mixed right to the bottom see it flowing so I was getting trouble with this one just troubles uh, and that's the best I could get over that chrome all right deep red this is nice that's over chrome my little chromey spoon there and this is uh, that silver plastic spoon but that game this is the look I was looking for this satin candy not bad pretty good the green did the most as far as satin goes these are over uh, a titanium dark gray titanium from uh, Tamiya this is their metallic gray this is a uh, um, metallic gray here this is over the spoon the silver spoon and this is over chrome so you can kind of see what I was getting the range and what I mean is you can really see the uh, the look of satin that I was trying to get that the green was giving me. So, this is my darkest one over the dark gray metallic. That's the best look right there. 
so. All right, orange. Orange didn't give me that sh dull look much at all. This is over chrome, obviously chrome. That's over the uh, silver spoon. Not bad right there. This is over a silver paint. I think it's their own. No, polished steel. This is my uh, this is my uh, Mecha Empire polished steel. So I sprayed it over that. And that's what I got there. That ain't bad. And this was just over, I think, white. This was a pearl white. I sprayed it over that. But again, not too satiny. I was hoping for satin. Closest I get, I guess, would be over the regular plastic. This is deep yellow. This is a nice color. Chrome over black. Uh, this is a uh, steel. Let me see what this is. Bare metal. Okay. This is my steel, polished steel, and Mecha Empire. And this is just over the gray. I'm trying to get these even for you guys. That's it. Again, they're not bad. I imagine. You know what? Let's let's do a test before we end this. Let's let's test the. I know it's going to come off the plastic, but let's try it over this. Yeah, right off. It's got to go on some kind of base. All right, let's get another piece of tape. Now this is a. All right, this is a painted base. See the difference? See it? Bare metal gloss lacquer over black. This is uh, this is the bare metal paint from MCW that I based my uh, polished steel off of. And these need to have a painted base. It can't go over the bare plastic. Unless, of course, it's the straight opaques. Any of the other unique colors. The metallics, these candies. All right, last but not least... The uh, Fire Orange, this is a cool color. That's a cool color. Now I painted this over the red, this is a red. Look at that, that's the best one. That's over chrome, that's over the gray silver. This is over a uh, sparkle silver base. And this is over that red that I wanted to see if it made it any deeper, but... Not bad. Really different colors, no matter what you spray it over. But it has to go over a painted base, or uh, you're in trouble. But obviously the, the uh, clears have to go over a painted base because uh, you, you, only, you, need, you need to be chromed. And you can't put on chrome plastic. That's what I've just proven to you. So this is over white. It seemed to have eaten into the plastic. These spoons stink. So uh, kiss that goodbye. And that's it. That was the lineup, guys. Um, to go into a little more detail, uh, you have to thin it if you're going to have a smaller needle. I use Mr. Color Thinner. You can use their leveling thinner or you can use my Mecha Empire Air Force thinners. Those are a, a mild thinner also. And uh, oh, we missed one more. Jeez, my favorite color too. Here's the nickel. Isn't this an awesome color? Look at that. I just love it. This is. Two spoons. I, I uh, did one earlier in the test, so that's why I, I have two separate spoons. This is over uh, Spastix Chrome. It dulled it right out, but it is satin. It's supposed to be satin. This is over the gray spoon. Didn't do much there. But this is uh, Chrome. Chrome by Spastic, And another Chrome spoon. And I tried to tint these with it. I figured it would be a tinting. Now, this was a peach color that I'm practicing on for my lineup. It tinted it right out, obviously. And this is the, that reddish-orange I sprayed it over. And uh, it tinted a little bit. And it gave me that satin look, kind of, right? So this is, uh, it is giving me that satin look, and if you think about it. It's going to go with the right color. And that's this tint. I'm showing you, it looks like I'm showing you red, but it's nickel over the red. Now... That's it. And uh, I use the Patriot 105 for just about everything. Um, to show you when I had to thin it in a smaller needle, I went with the Iwata Eclipse. Sprayed it really nice, but, you know, it had to be thinned. But that's the lineup. And uh, that's a little bit of everything that they offer. I didn't get their primers yet. I guess I'll do that on a separate test when I test out all the primers. Um, they're pretty nice. Uh, Cost-wise, I, I think they're a little high. 
Um, you're getting a lot, but uh, there are a lot of other paints out there that I seem to like a little better. Uh, but uh, eh, that's just me. The Opex really went on really nice. I can't complain. I even brushed it on here, and it came to kind of kind of brushed on pretty good too, even though it's really thin. Um, the real winners though are these pearlescents. These, these are really terrific colors. Um, I would invest in these right off the bat. But uh, everything else, you know, take it with a grain of salt. They're not bad. They're not the greatest thing in the world. The price doesn't reflect it too much, but uh, they are. You know, they are good for the amount that you get. That's for sure. And um, and they don't really smell a lot too. They they they're kind of a mild smell to tell you the truth. My uh, acetone and my lack of thinner smelt more than the paint did. Uh, that's for sure. There's a lot more colors in these, too. I picked a, a wide range of what I could for the money I had to spend on this test. Uh, anyway, guys, that is the test. Um, coming up soon will be the AOK -OK test. I got these uh, AKs I got to test soon, too. And uh, coming in next week are my lacquer paints for airbrush only, part of the Mecha Empire lineup. It'll be the Air Force line. And that's coming in soon, within a week. Um, I'll post it when they come in. And um, anyway, stay tuned. I got a lot of tests. I'm going to try and do two more tests next week and another giveaway. So uh, stay around for that. I'll put links below for these paints, for the airbrushes I used. And I'll put a link also for the, the bearings that I think you should put in these jars. And um, that's it. It was a long video, but I did want to go over everything. And uh, thank you guys for sticking with me right to the end of this baby. It's been a, r a rough week, too. Uh, with personal stuff and uh, the site getting hacked the uh, channel getting hacked anyway guys uh, please like the video it helps a lot with the algorithm big time please subscribe I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers it's a magic number that a, a goal I set aside for myself and I think we're just about there we're gonna do it soon and uh, anyway guys thank you so much for sticking around for this long video and we'll see you in the next video happy Easter everybody